G'day! So you found yourself a zombie spawner, and you want to make one hell of an XP farm. Well, today I'm going to show you how to do it. Also, I'm going to show you how to make an advanced softener to boot. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So first things first, obviously, loot up all the stuff out of the chests. Make sure you've lit up the room like a Christmas tree so you don't get any more spawns. And then you can start construction. So what you want to do is we're going to build a 9x9 nine nine cube. That's right, we're going to carve out a nice 9x9 nine nine cube in this room. Um, and how you do that is pretty simple. Is Make sure you have a 4 gap. Literally a 4 gap in every direction, guys. Literally, I've got to carve that out. See, four gap up, down, side, side. It'll make a nice nine by nine, nine cube. And then we can go ahead and continue from there. Okay, guys, I've gone ahead and carved out the room. And I did a little bit of decorating. Now, guys, obviously you don't have to decorate your nine by nine cube here. But I've chosen to do. It will not affect the farm whatsoever. Today, I'm going with a bit of a wood theme. That's right. So I've decorated the site. And as I stressed, you could build this out of cobblestone, stone, whatever's on hand. Whatever's on hand. But I am building it literally out of wood. I thought it would be a great decoration idea. Okay. Well, let's move on from there. And make sure, remember, stressing, make sure you've still got torches, even on the floors, lit up like Christmas tree, because this spawner will literally try to keep on spawning zombies if you don't do that. And then it becomes quite difficult when you're always getting a jump by, by zombies and all that flame and good stuff. So, anyway, now it's time to make ourselves a nice little... Uh, observer room that's right so we could observe the zombies spawning and it just it just looks good and today i think i'm going to build it down here that's right i'm going to continue with my awesome shape here that's right so come down here and i'm going to just literally go with the flow i'm going to go about oh i would say about five six blocks in yep and then decorate the walls Alrighty then, check it out. There you go. That's a bit different shape of an observation room, isn't it? Now, your observation room may be up higher or down lower. It doesn't really matter. I've just chosen to put my observation room there. It's obviously coming off the... There's a door that's coming off, obviously, your strip mine or maybe a surface tunnel. Wherever you discovered, like, how to get to your spawner here pretty much so just remember guys uh that none of this decoration here affects affects the farm it's just all decoration at the end of the day as i said your your observation room can be up higher lower it's just, just some people build it all sorts of places but i'm just tended to build it low here now guys just remember the torches or any light that is coming from the observation room must be kept at least five blocks away from the actual cube itself because uh once we remove all the torches and the the spawner starts to spawn well the observation room light will actually affect the spawn rate so make sure you keep it back like not too far back that it creates dark patches so you will get spawn like nasties to spawn on the other side there but not not close enough that it will it will affect the actual spawning room because once we remove all these torches well it's going to be really pinch black in here you, the only light you're going to see is coming from over there but that won't affect the actual spawner itself anyway let's continue so what you want to go and do next is we're going to create a little room underneath the underneath the entire cube here that's right so what we're going to do is come to the dead center here which is marked by our log here and we're going to dig down about five blocks so one two three four five yep that's that seems about right actually Oh, no, we're a bit close, aren't we? So let's go six, seven, just to be just to be safe. There you go. Seven blocks down from the spawner. And it's still spinning, which is great. So now what we want to do is create a nice little room. That's right. We're going to create a nice little room here. I would just say clear out oh, this way. I'm going to go ahead. This way is sort of aimed towards the the observation room because i'm going to put a hatch in the observation room that goes down a ladder goes down into this area this is going to be the killing chamber this is where we're going to get all the xp and build our our uh advanced softener that's right we're going to do all that in here so i'm going to connect those two together but also i want to build a little bit of room back this way from our for our redstone so what i'm going to do is probably clear about five blocks back as well 
There you go. Yeah, about five blocks. We might, we don't need a couple more blocks, but hey, let's just do about five blocks and I'll be happy with that. And make it, we'll make it a little bit wider. Yep, so from the hole, make it a little bit wider. So this is going to be for our redstone. This is going to be for our advanced so, uh, softener. So don't worry too much. I'll explain it all how, as we go along. So don't stress. And you're like, oh no, redstone. Oh no, it's actually really simple, guys. It's actually really simple. So uh, we're going to need a torch down here, aren't we? It's getting really dark. Yes. Let's put a couple torches on the wall here and here. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go connect my observation room with this room here and do a little bit of decorating. There we go. That's right. Done and dusted. So obviously I haven't fully decorated the room like floor and ceiling yet because I figured if we have to move things, it's going to be easier that way. So I'll decorate later on. I did a little bit of decorating. I've chose to go for the basement here. I've go gone with stone brick and logs, I figured, because we're going to be playing with some a bit of lava shortly, and water too, and some walls and all that good stuff, and a bit of redstone. So I figured, well, yeah, we better we better put some, you know, a bit more solid than wood in, just in case we might burn everything down. Anyway, got a nice space for redstone back here. Probably way too big, overkill. Just saying. But hey, I like a little bit of space. And then we got access, this little access hatch going up. How cool is this? So up, up we go. Yeah, well, and you've got the door that goes out of here. You've got the observation room. Yeah, it's looking real good. Real, real good indeed. Okay, so let's go to the next step, shall we? So, let's build the actual killing chamber itself. So what we want to do, directly under the spawner here, we're going to go ahead and place a wall. That's right. See that wall? Yeah. And then behind the wall, we're going to you know, build another wall. <laughs> That's right. Sort of fill it all in. There you go. So it should be looking like that. Yes, the redstone is still going to go behind. And actually, this is exactly why I didn't fully decorate. So now I can literally deal big, dig a little tunnel that goes back here so we can install some redstone. Okay. So, now we're going to turn it into like a, oh, what would you call this? Almost like a U-shape? That's right, see? It should be looking like that. And then we're going to go ahead and put on this block here. So, one, two, three off the ground. We're going to remove that and we're going to put a dispenser in there. Yes, we're going to put a dispenser. And then we're going to go ahead and put a glass block here. And we're going to put a sign here. Um, hello, YouTube smiley face there we go excellent and that's for later on i'll explain that later but there you go that's the actual killing chamber itself and yes you'll be able to one one punch all these zombies um and get all the xp so it's going to be fantastic that's why it's got a, an advanced softener guys it softens them up brings them down to half a heart you just punch them and they will die it's, it's fantastic it's really really good if you don't have you know diamond swords with sweeping edge and all that crazy stuff but there we go killing chamber is done okay let's do some redstone now what we're going to be building is obviously an advanced softener what this actually does is reduce the health of the zombie down to half a heart so you can literally just punch whoopsie didn't mean to punch the wall out there but you can literally just one punch the zombie it's fantastic so we're going to need some water and some lava but that's very shortly we won't get into that just yet now let's I'll, I'll take the redstone as slow as possible it's not that much it's actually not too too hard that's right so let's go back here let's right we're back in this nice area that we've cleared out and what we're going to go ahead and do is what we want to do sorry is at the back of this uh dispenser here we want to make sure we get a a um uh, place a block one black back like that and what we're doing is take an observer and we're going to place an observer on that block whoop can i jump 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 up oh, there we go excellent so the face should be facing you okay all we're trying to attempt is to make a little clock that's right and i'll show you how in a second so pretty much one below we're going to go ahead and place a sticky piston okay and then again we're going to place another observer so pretty much the uh, two faces are going to be facing each other. And when they face each other, it creates a clock. That's pretty much it. That's a this is literally a clock. I'll show you what I mean. We'll get out a redstone torch and place it down. Tick, 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 tick. See, that's pretty much all it is. That's literally all it is. So I'm trying to explain little bits of pieces so you guys can like understand the redstone. Okay. Um, all right. So let's move on to the next bit. Button placement. Now, 
We need to make sure we have a wooden button of any, any of the types. That's right, stone will not work. It's due to the timing, because this clock here is, uh, is going to be controlling how many pulses of lava and all that crazy stuff. It needs to be perfect. That's right, so make sure you have an oak or, or, or you know, some, some wooden button. And placement, oh, I'm going to put mine there, look there. I think I'll widen this entire thing, yep. Yeah. I'm going to put mine there, okay? So that means I need to clear out a couple of blocks back here. Yeah, like that, yeah, just, just sort of clear out a couple blocks. Okay, so what I want to do is now I'm going to take some redstone. Yep, just got to get that redstone back out. And first things first, I'm going to directly connect... Um, I'm going to directly connect, obviously, this button here. I'm going to connect into the thing. There, there you go. So you press the button. Tick, 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 tick. So now all I want to do is extend that. See how it was it stayed up for only a short period of time? I want it to be up for another couple of seconds. So all I'm building now is literally... Uh, a, a, a pulse extender. That's pretty much it. It's uh, it's that straightforward. Now, pulse extender is usually quite easy. Um, so literally off the same, you can literally build it off the off the same uh, the same line here. So I've, all I've done is created another line here, and then what I'm going to do is place a redstone repeater down on maximum ticks, another redstone repeater down on maximum ticks, and then what I'm going to go ahead and do is just sort of bring it out a couple of blocks like that, because I'm going to get another um, redstone repeater, yep, place it like that, on maximum delay, and another one on no delay, so it's one, two, three on max delay, third one is not, and then I'm going to go ahead and place a block down. There you go. So that there is a pulse extender. So when we press the button, what is actually happening is the, obviously it's hitting the redstone here, which is instantly going to our piston, extending our piston. And then slowly, while that's extended, um, this is obviously going off. And as that signal was pretty much turning off, this signal's just getting to this block, keeping it keeping that redstone, that, that piston up just that short amount of more time that we're going to get need. Because trust me, this has to be perfect. If this is not perfect, this, guess what, guys? Then it's going to be completely off and you're going to kill all your zombies in the chamber or nothing, or you're not, it's not going to be able to one punch them, literally. So now if we press it, see, it's extended. Did you see the button come out? Look, pressing it again extended how easy is that see the redstone is actually not that bad this is here's a nice softener it's a nice advanced softener so what's going to happen next is we're going to literally take a bucket of lava that's right we're going to take a bucket of water yep so first things first we're going to put the bucket of lava in our dispenser and we're going to put a bucket of water on top of this wall block here like that and this is exactly why we had the sign okay you're probably okay well what happens now if you press the button watch this so what's actually going to happen is this dispenser is going to dispense this lava bucket out very quickly and then take it back then dispense it real it's going to happen really quick quickly it's a clock going off so pretty much when the zombies come down and they hit the water here the water is to, pre to prevent them to con for from continuously burning because if you did that they would die zombies have a little bit of a, a different uh, mix than skeletons or anything else they actually have i'm pretty sure a couple of armor points this makes it really hard to drop them from a high high place and or use a crusher anymore things have changed since the old version of minecraft so it makes it a little bit different uh, difficult i should say to get them right down to half a heart so anyway so let's go ahead and press the button here Tick, 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 tick. There you go. That looks perfect to me. I think we're ready for an actual test run. That's right. Okay, I'm back in the chamber, and we're going to start placing the water and removing the torches. So let's start with the water. The water literally goes in every single corner. That's right, every single corner. Place a bucket of water. And if you have any troubles with the water itself, just remember to update it. Okay, so it should be looking like that, all draining nicely down the middle here. So let's go ahead and remove our torches now, so we can start getting our zombies. 
Boom, boom, boom. And boom. Just when you're in survival doing this, well, there we go, our first zombie. Make sure you have a quick exit uh, strategy going on. Let's seal that back up. Done. All right, look at that. Nice and dark in there. This torches, these torches will not be affecting our spawn rate. Look at that, four of them. Flaming Galah. Let's run downstairs now. That's right. Let's run downstairs. <laughs> All right, get our torches back. Let them build up. Now, the reason why they're on a wall block here is because the baby, baby zombies are a little bit of a pain in the bum. Yes, um, the wall block is making them hover just a little bit so those baby zombies can't get out and can be killed and get the XP as well. That's right, two birds, one stone. How's that for you? Okay, let's let them build up a little bit, shall we? We'll give it a couple of minutes. Okay, it's been about a minute. I just realized something. Before we continue, before we give this a good test, guys, make sure you put some glass blocks or half slab on top of the spawner. This will prevent, or oh, more, this will prevent any zombies from getting stuck on top of the spawner. I just thought I would let you guys know. But anyway, let's go downstairs. Just remember, there is an entity cramming limit nowadays in Minecraft, so you can't have actually any more than uh, 20 inside this cell, unfortunately. So let's give this a shot, shall we? We're in survival mode. We're going to press the button. Okay. Oh, look at that. One shot. Yep, I don't have any swords or nothing. How cool is that? How awesome is that? And there, there's some new people, the new zombies are starting to come in, unfortunately. So, you know, that's just, that's great. That's fantastic. So what I would do for to prevent any new zombies from coming in, I would probably install a piston that closes over the hatch. Or even a trapdoor. You know, a trapdoor with a lever up here will do the trick just fine. But as you've just seen, they will literally one-shot absolutely fantastic guys you can now one even the babies will all be one shot you just press the button let them suffer there we go let's do some upgrading shall we let's install that piston so all i've done is dug out two blocks above the the glass here and all literally i'm going to do is take a sticky piston um and come up here and literally i'm going to put the sticky piston in and i'm literally just going to put a block in that is literally it and then I'm going to seal all that back up that I've just broke. So block, 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 done. And literally lever. Ha <laughs> ha. Boom. There we go. So that completely seals off the entire cell when you're trying to kill them. And no fresh ones will jump down. Okay, so now that more zombies have actually come through. Um, I see one with armor. Unfortunately, this is... It's not going to work too well with the zombies with armor, but hey, let's give it a shot. So let's seal it up so no more zombies can literally come in. Press the button. And punch away. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. One shot. And then, go ahead, release the lever. More come in. How fantastic. Oh, I think that's a baby too. Yeah, there's a baby zombie I mixed up. I'll show you how that works. All right. Seal it up. So there's a baby. I don't know if you guys... You can't see him. But I can hear him. There's a, there's a baby mixed up amongst them. Go ahead. Same thing. And one punch. One punch. One punch. One punch. Hello, baby zombie. One punch. One punch. Baby zombie. One punch. How flaming brilliant is that, guys? Very easy XP farm. Very cool softener. Let more in. Ha <laughs> ha. How brilliant is that? Now, if you follow this guide, this tutorial, um, it should be rel relatively straightforward. Obviously, I haven't done any decorating, but the, the redstone's not too complicated. Works just fine. Just remember, guys, if you need to obviously pause the video and take a, take a quick squiz here, you can. Just remember, it, it is three redstone repeaters on maximum tick with one repeater not on maximum tick okay all right and then literally just the line directly into that as well just always re sort of remember that and then the two literally the two dis the uh observers here kissing each other when they connect and <laughs> and then the bum end the redstone end is actually facing into there but there you go how brilliant is this farm? It works like a treat in the latest version of Minecraft. Anyway, guys, if you if you use this tutorial and, and it did help you build a really cool zombie XP farm, 
go ahead and make sure you leave a comment below. Smash that like button. Share on your favorite social media. It'll be much appreciated, guys. And if you haven't already, subscribe with that notification bell turned on. All right, guys. I'll catch you all later.